What's going on everybody? Josh here of Scrapyard Films. Hope you like my new intro. That took me a good amount of time to make and I feel like it explains a little bit more of what my channel does. If you're new to my channel, I do tutorials, I stream video games, and I do giveaways. And then I have a couple other channels down below in the description for like vlogging, behind the scenes, and stuff like that. So today we're going to be doing another tutorial for Vegas Pro 17. I'm going to be explaining and comparing the new stabilization plugin from ProDad Mercalli. Now it's okay if you haven't heard of ProDad Mercalli before, but basically they are a company that makes a ton of different plugins. And the stabilizer that they created is a super awesome stabilizer that Pro Studios use. They just released Mercalli RT, which is a brand new form of real-time stabilization. So you know how back in Vegas if you applied stabilization, it would have that loading and progress and analyzing. Well, their plugin actually negates that entirely. There's no analyzing, no processing. You just drag the plugin onto your clip and it is 100% stabilized. You can adjust settings real time while you're watching it stabilize itself. It is super convenient. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you the differences and comparisons between Vegas Pro 17 and all the versions of their new release of Mercalli. Now, because this video is going to be probably a little bit long and I'm comparing a lot of different types of footage, I'm going to go ahead and timestamp everything in the description below. So let's jump right into Vegas. All right, so we're inside Vegas Pro 17. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you the rundown of what Mercalli actually is. Now, if you're like me, you're pretty confused. You see a bunch of different looking programs and you're just like, wait, I'm getting a few things. Oh, I don't even know. Well, let me go ahead and explain it for you. ProDad is the name of the company that makes Mercalli. Mercalli is a video stabilization software. They just released their newest version, version five, which comes with a standalone version, SAL, Vegas plugins, CMOS Pro and Stabilizer Pro, and RT, which is a Vegas plugin as well, called Realtime. The last thing they introduced in this package is called Picture Enhancer RT, which allows you to manipulate the contrast and color and things like that. Now you're asking what's the difference between all these things? Well, let's start off with the newest thing, Mercalli RT, which stands for real time. This shows up as its own plugin inside of Vegas's video effects. This is a real time stabilizer, so when you drag and drop it onto your footage, you have a few options and it basically stabilizes your footage without any kind of analyzing. Now Mercalli Pro comes with two different plugins, CMOS Fixer Pro and Mercalli Pro. Usually you want to put the CMOS Fixer Pro on your footage first, and this corrects any kind of weird rolling shutter or wobble that's caused by fast movements on DSLR sensors, CMOS sensors. Once you fix the CMOS sensor, then you drag and drop Mercalli Pro onto your footage, analyze it, and then you have a bunch of options you can choose to help stabilize your video the best possible. And a side note, for people who already own Mercalli V5 but not the new RT package, the Vegas plugins that come in the new RT package, which are Mercalli Pro, will replace your Mercalli V4 plugins inside the video effects tab with the upgraded Pro versions, which are better than the V4 ones. Now Mercalli Sal, SAL, the standalone version, is its own separate program entirely. You open it up, drag and drop your footage into here, and then you have a ton of customization options to get the best stabilization possible. Once you've stabilized it, you export it out of here, and then you can put that in Vegas and then edit it. So basically summed up, the difference between all of these products is that RT gives you good, ultra-fast stabilization, Pro gives you better stabilization, but it has to analyze, and the standalone version gives you the best stabilization, but it's its own external program. Now, I'm not going to explain how to use every single aspect of all these different ways of stabilizing, or else the video would be over 40 minutes long or something like that. So instead, I'm going to show you comparisons between them all and then compare them to Vegas Pro 17's built-in stabilizer so you can see which ones look better for certain scenarios. If you want in-depth tutorials of how to use Mercalli and all their different types of stabilizers, let me know in the comments below, and I can make a tutorial on those in the future if you wanted. I'm also going to show you what the new Picture Enhancer RT does near the end of the video, so be sure to watch the whole thing and you may get a prize. So to start out this comparison, I recorded some baseline footage. All the footage I shot was shot on my Panasonic GH5S, which does not have in-body image stabilization built into the camera. The lens I used was a Lumix 20mm f1.7 lens, which is not an optically stabilized lens. So these tests are the most accurate they can be and the most difficult kind of footage I've created to stabilize. The camera and recording settings are as follows. The resolution is 4K Ultra HD. I recorded everything in 60 frames per second. I used a 500 shutter speed. It's in 200 megabits per second bitrate, and they are 10 second clips. Now, if you recorded footage with a camera with in-body image stabilization, or just even a lens with optical stabilization, you will get better results than you're gonna see here in this video. Also, if you shoot your video in a lower bitrate than 200, which are my examples, your analyzing and rendering results will definitely be faster. Now I'm gonna talk briefly about the time to analyze and render. I have hardware acceleration turned on in Vegas, so if you only use the processor to analyze and render, your results may take a little bit longer to come out. 
But inside my video editing computer, here are the specs. I have a Ryzen 1800X processor, a GTX 1066 gigabyte, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and an M.2 solid state drive. So if your specs are better than mine, you should be getting a little bit better results. If your specs are worse than mine, you may experience a little bit longer results than I got. So analyze and render times for RT. It takes zero seconds to analyze a clip. As soon as you drag and drop the plugin onto the clip, it immediately starts stabilizing without any analyzation. And rendering this 10 second clip with just Mercalli RT on there took about one minute. For the Pro Stabilizer, the CMOS fixer took about 20 seconds to analyze a 10 second clip, and the stabilizing plugin took about 30 seconds to analyze a 10 second clip. And it took about a minute and 30 seconds to render this 10 second clip with both of those effects on it. For Vega 17 stabilizer, it took about a minute and a half to analyze a 10 second clip, and it took about 30 seconds to render the 10 second clip with that one effect on it. And for Mercalli standalone version, it took about 45 seconds to analyze the CMOS sensor and the stabilization combined, and it only took about 15 seconds to export it. A quick side note about Vega 17 is that if you use different types of motion compensation and different algorithms in its stabilization, you may get a little bit different results than I did. I used translation plus rotation plus scale for all of these tests except walking forward. For that one, I used warp. I also used the Lucas Canade algorithm for all of them. All right, now finally, let's jump into these comparisons. So I recorded four different shots. The first shot is a static shot of me just standing still and performing a little mild shake on the camera. The next shot is a slow pan from the left to the right, and I'm trying to keep it as still as possible. The third shot was me walking forward, trying to keep that center point object as in the center of the frame as possible. And the fourth shot is me simulating very unusable footage of like an earthquake or something. Just a lot of shake. So now we're going to start with a mild shake, and we're going to go ahead and see all the stabilization results back to back here. Here's the footage stabilized with Mercalli Pro. And here's the direct comparison, original on the left, Mercalli Pro on the right. Here's the mild footage stabilized with Mercalli real time. Here's the original footage on the left and Mercalli real time on the right. Here's the mild footage stabilized with Vegas Pro 17. Here's with the original on the left and Vegas on the right. And here's the mild footage stabilized with Mercalli's standalone version. Original on the left, Mercalli standalone on the right. So now let's look at all of them back to back. Here's the original mild shake footage. Here's the Mercalli Pro. Here's Mercalli real time. And here's Vega 17. And here's Mercalli's standalone version. Here are all of them, all side by side with each other, at half speed. So now we're going to look at the original panning, and then we're going to go ahead and look at the stabilized results. Here's the panning shot stabilized with Mercalli Pro. Here's a side by side with the original on the left and Mercalli Pro plugins on the right. Here's the panning shot stabilized with Mercalli real time. Here's a side by side comparison. Here's the panning shot stabilized with Vegas Pro 17. Here's the side-by-side, -side, original on the left, Vegas Pro 17 on the right. And here's the footage stabilized with Mercalli's standalone version. And a side-by-side, -side, original on the left, standalone on the right. Now let's take a look at all of them back-to-back -back one more time. We have the original here. We have Mercalli Pro plugins here. We have Mercalli real time here. We have Vegas Pro 17 stabilizer here. And we have Mercalli standalone version here. 
So now we're going to look at them all one more time side by side with each other at half speed. So next we're going to look at the original footage of me walking forward. You can see each step I take with a shake in the camera. Here's the walking footage stabilized with the Mercalli Pro plugins. Here's a side by side comparison. Original on the left, Mercalli Pro plugins on the right. Here's the walking footage stabilized with Mercalli Real Time. Here's a side by side footage of the original walking and Mercalli Real Time on the right. Here's the walking footage stabilized with Vegas Pro 17. Here's the original on the left and Vegas on the right. And here's the walking footage stabilized with Mercalli standalone version. Original on the left, standalone on the right. One more time here are all the comparisons, the original walking forward footage. The Mercalli Pro plug-in walking forward stabilized footage. The Mercalli real-time walking forward stabilized footage. The Vegas Pro 17 walking forward stabilized footage. And Mercalli standalone version walking forward stabilized footage. Now we'll go ahead and look at all of them again in half speed. And now on to our last footage, the artificial earthquake. This is pretty much going to be unusable footage in most scenarios. Here's the earthquake footage stabilized with Mercalli Pro plugins. Here's a side by side comparison. You can tell it's definitely cropped in a lot because of the amount of shake going on. Here's the earthquake footage stabilized by Mercalli real time. Here it is side by side comparison, earthquake on the left, Mercalli real time on the right. Here's the earthquake stabilized footage with the Vegas Pro 17. Here's the original on the left, Vegas Pro 17 on the right. And here's the earthquake footage stabilized by Mercalli standalone version. Original on the left, standalone on the right. And now here's all of them at half speed. And so time to choose the winners. My personal choice for the best mild shake stabilization is Mercalli Real Time. I have it in 50% slow motion right here and you can see that it just looks almost absolutely perfect. Compared to the other ones, Mercalli Pro still had a small amount of shake in there, Vegas 17 had mild wobble in the corners, and the standalone version had some mild wobble in the corners as well. So Real Time took the win on that one for me. The winner of the panning shot is the standalone version. As you can see, it almost looks absolutely perfect, like I'm on a gimbal or a tripod just panning it left and right. Comparing it with the other ones, Mercalli Pro plugins had a small amount of jitters but still looked pretty good. Real Time had a small amount of jitters but it also had this tilt I couldn't fix. Vegas Pro 17 had zoom bouncing, although it kept it pretty level, but the standalone version took the cake on that one. As for the winner of the walking forward shot, I went ahead and went with Vegas Pro 17. Now it was a really close call between them all, but Vegas Pro 17 kept this object in the center pretty much the whole time, even though there's a little bit of wobble in the corners. If we compare it to the other ones, the Pro plugins had a little bit of jerks and jitters and you could just definitely tell there's a bit of sway in the movement. The real time plugin also had a couple of jitters just like Pro, and the standalone version had a slight bit of corner wobbles, but all three of those still didn't keep this object in the dead center like Vegas did. And that's why Vegas won this one. And for the final test, the earthquake shot. The winner of that was, of course, Mercalli's standalone version. 
it almost looked like there was no earthquake going on except for these random little up and down jitters, but other than that it was absolutely looking great. If we compared to the other ones, the pro version had some big jerks and jitters, but no wobbles. The real time had a few big jerks, and Vega 17 had a lot of corner wobble along with the jerks. So the standalone version did an amazing job with this earthquake shot. And before we give the wrap up summary, I do want to show you guys ProDad's picture enhancer real time. So again, like I said before, if you add any kind of effects and do cuts and stuff to video footage you're stabilizing, you could mess up the stabilization results and have to redo it all. But with picture enhancer real time, you can lay this on footage that is stabilized by Mercalli real time. Did you see that code? If you go to Steam and redeem that, you can get yourself a free game. So the footage I'm going to be testing this on is just standard footage. Nothing is graded. It is color corrected, so the colors are accurate. But other than that, it's nothing. Just base footage. So we drag and drop picture enhancer RT on here. And we can see it does a little bit of contrast right here off the bat. Let's just take a look at these presets. We have common and intensive, the only two presets it has built in. But of course, you can create your own and save your presets like normal. You see a little bit of difference between common and intensive, but we're going to stick with common and look at all these options. So dynamics looks like it adds a bit of definition and a bit of contrast to your video. Almost like when you're really enhancing something in Photoshop, this is giving it that real time enhancement. So the higher you go with this, the more definition you'll have, but it also look a little more fake. Brightness is just simply that, raise and lower the brightness. And then saturation is just that, increase and decrease saturation. So we're going to crank a couple of these numbers up way high just so we can see what the tiles do. So if we drop down tiles, we see a bunch of options right here, which is a form of a grid. And we go to 1-1, one, one, and I'm going to scroll through these and you can see what they do. There's 2x2, two 3x3, by 4x4, two, three by three, four by four, 6 by 6 8x8, 3x2, 5x3, 7x4. And you can kind of see the differences that they make of where they're actually enhancing the video. So if we go down to like 5.3, you can see that there's a line right here where it has the enhancement and then a line of no enhancement and then enhancement. So it kind of just varies per what footage you want to use. For the most part, I think 4x4 looks the best but it all again depends on what type of footage you're enhancing. You can also do side by side and vertical comparisons to what it looked like before and what it looked like after. But that's what Picture Enhancer does. It's a good little batch of tools you can use to enhance your video while stabilizing at the same time without it breaking. So as for the conclusion, for the most part, all of the footage you saw me stabilize was worst case scenario footage imaginable. If you had any kind of controlled shots, you know, with the gimbal and you had in-body image stabilization, and you had an optical stabilized lens, you'll be getting a lot better results with all of these and getting near perfect results with Mercalli's package. If you want to pick up the new RT package, it is on sale right now and you can use the link in the description below. Put in the coupon code HOPE25 and you can get 25% off. That is an affiliate link, so if you do use that link, I do get a little compensation for that and that's just going to go to help out the channel. I don't know how long this coupon code is going to last, but at the time of this video being uploaded, that is the current deal that's going on. And there you go. You now know all the differences and what it looks like and which stabilization to choose between Vegas Pro 17 and Mercalli and all of the different types. I hope this video was informative and if it was, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there because that'll really help me out. If you wanted to follow along and try this out for yourself, you can download the trial for Mercalli in the description below. So thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you on the next video. And I want to give a special shout out to all of my subscribers up there at the top. Be sure to check out their channels for some awesome content.